Hello, good morning, good afternoon. It's Mrs. Murder here, and I'm here with the last Brother Cad file, as promised. Between the two candles there, you will see the series, the whole Brother Cad file series, and this is the book we will be reviewing today. It's or I'll be mentioning. I can't really say it's an official review because I don't give a good, if I were giving this for a good, good for a book report, I would not pass. It's not really book report material. It's just introducing the books to you and telling you something about them. And I was challenged by a member of my own family uh, about what the Mrs. Murder, pro what the whole series was about and I guess I haven't done a very inquisitive and interrogative and depth in-depth review but the last book the 20th brother cad file mystery has drawn to a sad conclusion all of the books that she has written on brother cad file she's written a lot of books that are um, in other genres but I won't read them all because you can go back on the Mrs. Murder website and you can see each one in order. <sighs> After The Holy Thief was last week and then now we have Brother Cadpile's Penance. And you remember I said I wondered if his penance was going to be about St. Winifred. It was not about St. Winifred. It was about his son that who didn't even know that Brother Cadpile was his father because Brother Cadpile did not know when his son was born that and he went off to war in the holy war he did not know that uh, his son was being born that he was born and since it was out of wedlock it's caused quite a uh, quite a consternation for for someone who is a brother as you might well well guess so he has gone to the abbot well okay he found out that his son was imprisoned and that no ransom had been offered for him, for him. A number of king, you know, we still have the war going on and it, you wonder if it's ever going to end, but I'm sure that they wonder then too, but between King Stephen and Princess Maud, who's Empress Maud, um, and one of the Okay, the, the whole regiment or whatever they call the, the fighting force was supposed to, that was supposed to be in the war, refused to support their leader. The, they were all imprisoned when the leader gave, said, I'm not, I'm not fighting for Empress Maud anymore. And they were all imprisoned. And then a ransom was offered by, so that anyone who paid the ransom could buy back the, the prisoner. And no ransom had been offered for the young man who was the son of Brother Cadfile. So he wants to go find out where he's imprisoned, find out why there's no ransom offered. And he, he travels and has a great deal of, of soul searching because um, he's given, there's a big meeting that's called and uh, the abbot has given him permission to go to the meeting with Hugh. And he goes with Hugh, but he says, after the meeting, you have to come back. You will not go any farther. Well, when Hugh goes back, Cadfile says, I can't go farther. I have to find my son. And I, if I have to give up my, my whole life there in the, in the abbey, then that's what I'll do. And his soul searching, the he he feels excommunicated, of course, because he he is no longer he can no longer claim to be a monk, and he's still wearing his his brother's robes, and he feels even false wearing those. But they do allow him admittance because people will trust a brother where they won't trust each other. They don't know who's who's a spy and who's good and who's bad. But in his brother's robes and with his cowl, I guess it was as long as he has his cowl, they trust him and he can get in and then he goes, he can go to prayers in the, in the different chapels and he gets to meet with people that uh, 
give him clues and lead him. It's a very, very determined driving mystery because of course we really want to find Brother Cadfile's son and when we do find him alive. You'll, en you'll enjoy this one. Uh, I personally am so happy that I've read all 20 and I think reading all 20 you really get an insight into a lot of everything that's going on in the in the area. You really get tired of the war between Empress Maud and King Stephen, the upheaval it causes, all the destruction, the mayhem when it, they ravage towns and villages the, for King Stephen has done it, Empress Maud and different of the nobles have, they just, it's very destructive and it's reminiscent of some of the destruction going on in our own time. But this is a good one. This is, they're all, they're all, uh, all very, very meaningful and very, I would say that they could be applied today too in a number of different ways, even though they're in the Middle Ages. 1145 is the date of this one. And I said I'd look up uh, whether, uh, but I, don't, I didn't find out whether Alice Peters whether this was the last book she wrote, she had written a lot, a number of other of other books too. But it didn't say that she had that. I think she wrote other books after this series. I don't think she passed away like within a year or anything like that. But it, following up closely after this, uh, eleven forty five year eleven forty five, uh, we find that Peter Tremaine has start has written his series of books which is also in the Middle Ages, but it's in Ireland. And he's, it, this is in the 700s. So it's recommended that this is likened to, but because they, they're both med medieval times, they both deal with pronunciations and maps and, and different townships. And this is dealing with Ireland and Sister Fidelma. And Sister Fidelma is sister to the king, as well as being a religious, and as well as being a very highly uh, a daylight of the courts, he, she, she can even ask questions of kings, queens, anyone. They have to answer her. So no one can refuse her. Next week, I hope to review the, the Shapeshifter's Lair. This is actually the 31st book of Peter Tremaine, of Sister Fidelma. I've read the other 30, and... I guess I'll re read this. I'll see how it, I'll see how it goes. Maybe I should review some of them I've already read before I jump into this one. However, it might be interesting. I'll see. I haven't read every year he comes out with a book, so I've read these now for <laughs> a number of years. At any rate, I hope you enjoyed the Brother Cadfire re reviews mentions all. 20 of them and I hope that you will read read them and there's so much more intriguing if you ask me than watching even though I like Derek Jacoby and even though you know they're interesting and the music is very reminiscent of of the church and reminiscent of the church it is the church it is church and it is that part is very interesting too but I think that you get a whole lot more picture of of the times and of the people and of what everyone is thinking. Of course, when you're in a book, you you get into the minds of different people and into motivations and great characterizations and wonderful, wonderful script and wonderful dialogue. And oh, pick one up. You'll enjoy it. Until the next review, this is Mrs. Murder saying, have a great week and um, keep reading. So the, all of the Brother Cadfile books are there between the two candles. That's all 20 of them. Bye.